I can guarantee you this, we all want to make it, but we probably don't know how. And that's what we're trying to do here at MUNO by speaking to the people who have and who know how. And we're bringing the experts right to your screen. Welcome to a word from the wise. Word to the wise, I'm a G, you don't know me. I just tripled last month in this whole week. Double time, 06 and an OG. Shorty kissing on my neck, says she know me. I think with my career and just my work ethic in general, I, I can trace it back to grade one. So I actually do have a story to tell. Uh, so the, the school which my parents wanted me to start my grade one, right, uh, it was a very popular school in a small town and they only took children who were born uh, from January to June of a specific year. I was born in July. Uh, but my parents wanted me to start uh, grade one when I was seven years old, right? Like what most people everywhere else in the country did. Um, so they tried to get me a place at that school and uh, they refused, right? My mom tried to ask the headmaster and was like, no, the grade one class was full. Then, so I actually then went back to preschool. Uh, they got, they found a different preschool. I think they just felt bad that I'll, they didn't want me to repeat at the same preschool. So they got me to a different preschool. But two months down the line, I think uh, there was then some space in the grade one class. My mom bumped into the headmaster in like uh, the supermarket and just like, no, if your child isn't doing anything, you can just bring him, then you can just play with the others this year and repeat next year. My mom was quite happy. She took me to class and the grade one teacher was like to my mom, you're very stubborn. Your child is going to fail uh, grade one and he's going to be demotivated by education and will be a failure the rest of his life. And I was there listening. <laughs> and my mom, okay, was like, no, it's okay, we'll see. Uh, she then, for the rest of that year, she gave me extra lessons. This is grade one. So whilst other kids were playing and watching cartoons, I had extra lessons for grade one. And at the end of the year, I was top of my class. I got the award for the top achiever in grade one. And I think that's really, really shaped my work ethic. Like, I think from such an early age, I could definitely tell that uh, if you put in the extra work and effort, you can achieve the goals you set, you, you set out to achieve. And that you shouldn't let people dictate what you can or what you cannot do. Uh, so I think also that same attitude sort of affected uh, how long it took for me to decide which field to um, go in. Because not to brag or anything, but I did well in a wide variety of subjects. I would put in the extra time and effort and I was doing all right. Uh, so it's only after like, I finished my high school, uh, I had a gap year. There's a friend, uh, she had a blog she was doing on WordPress and then um, like WordPress wasn't giving her the creativity she wanted to, like she thought she could express herself better if she had her own website. So we were just talking one day and I was like, no, I have free time. Uh, I'm not doing anything right now. Let me see if I can actually make a website for you. And yeah, that's when I first got the interest in computer science and uh, that was, I was like 19 that year. Uh, and yeah, I think, uh, However, I'd already decided at that time that I was going to try accounting. There was this uh, opportunity to uh, start working as an auditor straight from high school. So I already got in a place, but I got there. I was doing my accounting there at PwC, uh, but in my free time, I was doing web development. And then after a year and a half, I was like, you know what? I'm not enjoying auditing. PwC is a great company and this is a great opportunity, but I have something I'm passionate about. I have something whereby after work, when I'm tired, I'm still putting in the time and effort in. Uh, so yeah, I made the big, big leap of faith, I had long and difficult conversations with my parents, and I came to study computer science. I thoroughly enjoyed that, and I hope you did too. And so stay tuned for the full video at the end of the week.